You know, the Florida National Guard goes into preparation mode. Uh, in, in our support to the citizens of Florida, it, it's our duty to be prepared. And so we track the storm, we prepare for the storm, we make sure that our equipment is ready, and, and our personnel come into the armories and, and we prepare to be there when the storm strikes. So that's exactly what our soldiers and our airmen are doing today. So pretty much my job is to make sure that all the equipment in the, uh, in the entire building is up and running. Okay, well, it's really about that one team, one fight mindset. So we're all here together. It doesn't matter whether we're Army, Air Force, or whatever. We're all here doing the same mission to make sure that we can uh, get the job accomplished. I think the biggest thing is that, that it's just such a team effort. What I mean by that, not just the typical, you know, Title 10, as I mentioned before, active component and guard units around the country, but the team extends to families. It extends to employers. It extends to that bigger envelope of folks that have to enable our soldiers and airmen to come forward, sacrifice what's going on back at home to try and make a difference for the citizens of Florida. So here in the Florida National Guard, our, you know, the Adjutant General, our, our motto is right, ready, and relevant. So. The first thing we want to be is right. We want to be the right force at the right time, at the right place. Uh, so at the moment of need, we are prepared, which segues into our ready posture. So all throughout the year, uh, we're, we're training, we're practicing to be prepared uh, for when that time comes. It could be to deploy overseas and support our federal uh, partners, or it could be here in the state of Florida in a national natural disaster situation.